Rock and roll, baby! <laughs> so some of you guys have been asking about bearings and how to make things spin. And I thought, well, here's a perfectly good example. You know, this commission that I'm working on right now, where I'm working with boulders and making them spin. So anytime you want to make something spin, of course you're going to have to have a, a shaft. And this shaft is going to have to be fixed to something so it can't spin. And you're going to want to take one of your races. Now this is the race that fits this ball bearing, thrust bearing. The balls actually fit down inside that race and kind of lock themselves in. And of course there's another race that goes on top of it. And the way I do it, at least with this commission, you know, with this project right here, is I'm going to take that solid uh, one inch shaft. I'm going to put that race right over the top of it and get it wherever I want on the shaft. Then I'll come to the back side, get everything flat and straight and true, you know, just the way it's supposed to be. And then I'll just come on the back side TIG that all on there. Now the race, the lower race, if you will, is now captive on the shaft. And of course that's, what's, that's what we're seeing right here, is the lower race on the one inch solid shaft. Okay, so we've got the shaft, we've got our race already welded on, we've got our bearing sitting on top of it, that's all in the boulder over there. But now what happened with the other boulder? What was that other setup going on over there? So the other side of this whole setup, the other half of the bearing, this is the upper race right here with this little collar around it. But well, what the heck's down inside there? So this is the other half of the whole bearing equation, what's buried in the top rock, if you will. Piece of 304 stainless pipe, uh, one inch, I think it's one and a quarter inch diameter. A heavy wall, you know, a nice thick wall on it. The only problem is the inside diameter of this pipe is a little bit bigger than the outside diameter of the rod. You can see just a little bit of wiggle inside that pipe. That rod's going to wobble around inside there just a little bit. So I had to get crafty with it. I wound up making myself a little bushing that will just slip down inside and it will just fit on this shaft and that helps take all the slop out so it doesn't wobble around inside, don't make the whole rock sit there and wobble. How do I build? So you just take the stainless steel pipe. I'm going to true up this end and get it nice and square, flat, cleaned up, and I'm just going to weld my race right to the top of that pipe. And on top of the race, I've also cut this little collar out of stainless. Didn't quite get all the burrs out, sorry. But the race will fit down flat inside there. I'll TIG weld it all around on the top side. So I'll have a sealed unit, if you will. You know, when, once I get this welded onto the top of the pipe, the bearing will fit down inside into the bottom race. Of course, we already have our top race welded to the shaft over here, and then it just slips down inside. This cup, you know, this little uh, shield right here, will help seal, the, uh, help seal the bearing, basically, help keep the dirt out, because they will be exposed. So I don't want wind blowing dirt in there or something like that. So this whole setup, the pipe with the race with the cup is what's down inside here. This one is about, uh, I think about 18 inches long all the way down inside this boulder. And you remember earlier when I said the inside diameter of the pipe is a little bit bigger than the outside diameter of the rod. So that's why I made this little brass bushing to sit down inside there. Well, I found something better. This is a linear bearing. And if you look down inside there, you'll see there's lines of ball bearings going from one end to the other. And on the outside of the bearing, there's this little slot cut in it. This is not a solid piece going all the way around, which means it can compress a little bit. So the bigger version of this that I have coming, I'll be able to press down inside this pipe so it'll be a nice snug fit there. And then I'll just have to take the one inch shaft and turn it down so it'll fit up inside this linear bearing. So it'll help keep everything nice and tight at the top end so the stone isn't wobbling. And then the thrust bearing on the bottom, that's what's going to carry all the weight. Okay, so that's all the different parts and pieces. The shaft with a race welded to it, with the, with the roller bearing that sit in the race. The other race welded to the pipe, buried down inside the rock with a little collar on it. 
So this is all ready to go together. Let's just flip the rock over and we'll set it up here and see how it works. And of course, if I was putting this together for it to stay together, I'd grease all this up first. <laughs> there it is. You look right in here, you'll see they're touching one another. The two stones are touching one another. So all I have to do is just stop the bottom one from turning. So I just need to make that fit. Just keep wiggling it back and forth a little. And then once it's all together, then I can come back and shape them. I can carve on them. I can make, you know, make shapes out of them. I can put like little, little pockets in them to catch the wind so they'll spin in the wind better. Definitely a work in progress. Definitely a long-term project. But you guys will see it. Turn on that notification bell. You'll know when this is happening. You'll know when something new is going on right here. And you can cheer me from the background or laugh at me, one or the other. <laughs> This is going to take forever. <laughs>